What's going on, everybody? I'm Bobby Fi. I'm doing my About Last Night video. Just talking real quickly about what happened last night. I've skipped a couple nights, which unfortunately had a couple close calls, but didn't quite get there. We'll cover a couple of that of those things in just a minute, but just want to get to the gist of it last night. These were my only lineups. I did a couple of variations off of one lineup on FanDuel. Everything was deep. Look at, I mean, the scores were huge. I came really close in the qualifier and in the uh, Grand Slam. I finished 11th and 4th, 4th in the qualifier. Um, I only played one lineup in here, and uh, it was really close. I had the Dodgers going, and Turner and Kike Hernandez did nothing after the – well, Kike did nothing the whole game. Turner did nothing after the second inning or third – second inning. Um, uh, in four more – bat. Uh, literally anything there, I could have gotten something from those two guys – and I think I would have went away with it. Uh, obviously, Bellinger was low owned. Luplo, popular chalk, got there. Fairly chalky Kipnis really got there. Um, uh, Scherzer, you know, was much higher owned actually in this than he was in like the 555. He was only 18% owned. People got scared off a little bit. And it was weird at the higher buy ins, they got more scared off. I wasn't afraid to play him. I, I loaded him up 100% in all my high buy in tournaments yesterday. Um, Obviously, the Chris Taylor game went nuts. I love the Dodger stack. I was into it. It, it. it looked great for a while. It just didn't quite get me to where you need to be. And unfortunately, with these, you got to you gotta come in first. And, you know, a little bit more action. I, I, I was live in the ninth. That's all you can ask for, I guess. But And then, you know, I finished uh, 14th. My last two tournaments I think I've played on here for the, in the big ones, I finished 14th and, uh, and 23rd the night before in a little bit of a bigger field for 100K. But – I, I really like my lineups and what I've been doing and just basically, you know, I've been paying for whatever pitcher I want. I paid up. I was going to play Heaney initially. Then I realized Scherzer's ownership wasn't going to be 50% and decided not to. I played Re Brian Reynolds as a one-off, which really came through. I love this kid as a hitter and just think he's better than people think he is at this point. Never gets owned in DFS. I've made the really weird dreary, pl dreary play. I thought he was batting sixth. I really thought I read a six when it, when I first saw the lineup. And I thought, okay, well, here's a 1% guy who no one's going to have in a spot where I could see them scoring some runs. Obviously, they did. Um, he actually had plenty of opportunities. But, you know, as Brandon Drury will do, he got us a zero. Rangel Ravello with a three didn't help us any. So getting that from just a few players but still having some monster, you know, monster scores outside of that uh, really kept us alive all night. And um, – you know, you had the Bellinger, Reynolds. It just, it was a good lineup, just not quite enough to get there. Um, but, you know, it's been some good nights. I finished 10th the other night on DraftKings for the, for the 100K um, with a couple lineups through State Kings. And it was really interesting. The thing I've been running into is just like, I just can't quite get there. Oh, this is my lineup just real quickly from last night. I just played 1555 um, last night on DK. And, you know, the Scherzer, Heaney, um, combination didn't work out. Scherzer obviously was right, but Heaney was not. I did feel like Heaney was a strong play, and I he uh, in the end he wasn't. Um, even though I liked some of the Toronto bats against him, I didn't. I, did, I thought he was a strong play. Went for the Cleveland stack here. You know, Ramirez and Lindor and Bauer obviously could have done more. I thought Bauer's was a, a clever way of trying to get off of the chalk or not chalk, but higher owned Leplo. He also was significantly cheaper over here. Um, I played Brian Anderson as a one-off. He'd been heating up and he's just 3,300 still. I, I, I stand by my plays. I just, you know, obviously I wish that Heaney was a little bit better. The Weeders thing was a little bit weird. I had a weird price for catcher and I couldn't really figure out a way of combining it, his and Anderson's prices. So I, I sort of thought I would just take a different route, take some super low owned guys with some upside in their matchups and uh, it didn't quite work out for me this time. But just, you know, it's been it's been an up and down ride for baseball as it always is, but mostly like I'm I feel like I'm red hot right now. I mean, I mean, out of my high buy in lineups, I'm I'm cashing in almost all of them. The problem is, um, you know, the one you don't or the couple you don't, it, it makes a big difference if you're not winning them. And that one I finished tenth the other night. You know, I I had you know twice as many innings of anybody in the top ten with five minutes left to go. Anyway, uh, I'm getting a call for my for my daughter right now, so I gotta go. I gotta let you guys go. Um, thanks so much for hanging out there with me. Appreciate it. We will talk to you soon.